Everything we surround us with is materials. We have to find a solution how to make these materials and how to reuse what we have to achieve sustainability. The field of material science is one of the most important things that we can actually work on. The Department of Material Science and Engineering is a part of NTNU, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. It's located with its uh, main campus in Trondheim in the middle of Norway. Our overall vision at the department is material science and engineering for a better world. The sustainability development goals is in everything that we are doing. We have researchers working on how to make materials, researchers are looking at how we can make new materials, and we have those who are using the materials. We have to, to get this collaboration that is going to solve the energy problems. In Norway, uh, metal producing industry, smelters, is one of the biggest land-based industries. You need a lot of energy to produce these metals. We need to be able to reduce our energy consumption and emissions that we have in our industries today. My group focusing on recycling and refining of metals. We do a lot of work on, on using secondary raw materials and waste streams in the metal producing industry. So we'll try to get them back to the metals. We have patented a new process for producing silicon metals. We use aluminium as reductant instead of carbon which means that we don't have any direct CO2 emissions from our process since we don't have carbon in the process. In order for us to, to get the, our inventions and our new process ideas into the industry, for us it's extremely important to work together with the industry. Listen and hear their challenges and we try to meet them. For the department, it's very important that we work together with Norwegian and international industry that the research that we do is taken into use and is brought out to the society. We have two CRIs, also called Centres of Research-Based Innovation. One is within metal production, the other is where we come up with new solutions for metallurgical uh, manufacturing industry. The focus of our CRI FISMET is to be the world leading centre in the field of physical metallurgy, but also to promote uh, an acceleration and a transformation to a more sustainable uh, production and uh, the development of future materials and processing. The focus of the centre is to have an impact which we call a multi-scale because we look at the properties of the material from the macro scale down to atomic scale. We are able in this way to provide a fundamental understanding of the properties of the material, being able to determine what is the chemical composition and the microstructure of the component. The overall goal is that at the end, if we understand what are the properties of the recycling material, we can use more of this recycling material and step by step, we are providing information that helps the industry to understand in which way they can make the changes or the improvement necessary for the new development. Classically, uh, in Norway, we produced uh, hydrogen through a process called alkaline electrolysis. In the classical process, you just have a uh, diaphragm, which is just a porous cloth. AEM introduces a new membrane that separates the oxygen uh, producing part of the electrolysis cell and the hydrogen uh, producing part of the cell. It only lets uh, very specific types of ions pass through that membrane. In doing that, you save energy and you also get a cleaner product. The AEM hub is an umbrella of uh, three different EU projects. We are now in the process of making uh, an actual machine that uh, uses these AEM membranes in collaboration with the partners in Germany and uh, Italy and elsewhere that will actually have a very, very high performance and that holds good promise for the future in terms of the AEM technology. Today, battery technology has come uh, very far. The technology is quite mature, but we need further improvements. The battery group uh, at Antonu works primarily with new materials to try to find compositions that can make the batteries better. We would like to make materials more uh, durable. We would like to use sustainable materials. 
We are working on next generation lithium ion batteries, for example, where we want to replace some of the graphite with silicon materials. And we also want to find new cathode materials that can uh, store more charge. Battery technology is one of the main um, components in the future renewable energy system to store the intermittent energy uh, produced by solar cells and windmills and also for transportation. I feel that the department is going to play a very important role here in Norway. We're not only looking at our own field, but we collaborate along the value chain. The industrial partners push us and they tell the Research Council that they need this basic research.